This is it. I'm here at Manchester Central. This is Hilti. This is Neuron. We're going to get inside and take a look at all of this amazing technology and see what it's all about. And I'm looking forward to it. to the construction industry is a completely new single battery platform that comes with four major customer benefits for contractors in the construction industry. Let us get started maybe with the first major benefit of Neuron and that is having everything on one single battery platform. If you think of the tradespeople, their lives are just getting a lot easier. Think of no more need for junction boxes, extension cords. You don't need to search now for an available power socket to get started anymore. If you are really into heavy duty equipment, right, uh, you don't need to jug around gas cans anymore to fill the gas tanks on your diamond cutoff socks. The new Neuron 22 volt batteries and tools are able to double the performance versus the previous generations that we had, they're able in many cases to match or even outperform core tools that run off 110 or 230 volt uh, electrical grid or even gas powered tools. And the third part is the most important one. For this new platform, for Neuron, we have created a completely new interface from the ground up and the interface is the mechanical and electrical connection between the tool and the battery. And the new interface is extremely capable when it comes to performance and power. It is able to transfer peak powers of over 100 amps from the battery to uh, the tool. And as you can see here, we not only have tools that run off one battery, there are also a couple of tools here that run on a dual battery system and with that we even double up. Right? We can go that to 4000 watts of performance which is more than what you can get out of the electrical grid. Who would have guessed a couple of years ago that a cutoff saw or a heavy jackhammer would be able to be run by 22 volt batteries here. And through those doors exists a world that is yet unknown to you. A world where performance knows no compromise. Where health and safety is a part of everything we do. Where the tools are connected and give our customers and us the information that we need. And it is a world where all of that happens on one platform. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the Neuron world here at Manchester Central. The power of Neuron is now yours to experience. This is Sebastian, and he's kindly agreed to sort of like chat to me in privately. Well, I'm filming this, so you're gonna see it as well. <laughs> so Sebastian, um, there's a couple of things that I'm really, really impressed with. Now, I know a lot about power tools, and power tool brands, I'm lucky enough to see things, try things, hold yep. things, use things. But I come to something like this and I think, what is it that, what's, what's going to differentiate it? But I tell you what, your 22 volt system, the yep. fact it can deliver so much power, up to 4,000 watts and, yep. and drive a breaker, which is that big on me. I mean, that is incredible, isn't it? I mean, the Hilti breaker is a famous go-to breaker. On site, someone says, I need to get the Hilti. Yep. They don't say, I need to get the breaker. Pass me the Hilti. Absolutely. So tell me how long it's taken to get this far, to actually achieve this. Well, look, from beginning to end, it's been now at least eight years. Right? From amazing. the first technology projects to get the battery tech to where it is right now and where we can use it on all these tools, that's been well over eight years. Uh, 30 plus patents, this has been ongoing for many, many years with many hundreds and now thousands of people to get this to where we are now. I mean, that's unbelievable. Eight years, so much can happen in eight years with regards to technology. And one of the other things which um, I think is a really interesting point is the fact that communication via the tool 
to the battery. The battery is taking data. Yeah. The data is then, without you even thinking about it, once you charge that battery up, it's going to start communicating and recording data. Now, the data it's recording, you'll have to correct me. I've just you know, listened to it all. Yeah. But for example, if you've got a whole fleet of tools and some aren't being used, you're going to want to know, do I need to either decrease those tools yeah. or do we need to get them out there and work them on site? Are people forgetting that we've actually got these tools, you know, if they're in the stores or whatever? And the other thing is as well, the battery, if the battery starts having issues, you're, you, the guys at Hilti will know about that and probably yeah. notify you if you haven't checked. I mean, that's incredible, isn't it? Look, for us, it's, it's, for us, it's called data-driven services. And data-driven services is a brand new piece that we bring in terms of tech and in terms of capability to our cordless platform. And it lets us do two things. One, we can bring new service offerings to our customers. And two, we can help to optimize. And you touched on some of those two things already. On the bringing new service offerings, for example, proactive battery exchange. We see when the battery's health is at a point where we want it to be increased, where it's too low, and we can actually proactively say, here, there's a new battery, right? And if the customer's on fleet, that's an automatic exchange. Mm. As they get today, but now we can do it proactively. Mm. Then the other side is that we can actually help the customer optimize. We can help optimize tool parks. If tools are sitting idle somewhere in a tool crib or somewhere in a warehouse or somewhere in a van, we can identify those tools and say those tools can be actually used somewhere else. But then that last piece is also benchmarking. And benchmarking compared to other companies, other contractors in the business, in that trade, and say actually, on average, there's companies in the same sector that are using that many more tools. Mm. So in that way, we can help identify where are maybe gaps and how can we help everyone get more productive mm. in the end. Mm. And that's the real goal, to drive mm. that productivity piece. Mm. Now the last piece with data-driven services is that for us, this is just the beginning. We come now with some use cases in the beginning from day one, which we're very, very proud of and very excited about. But the data we collect, we can use in so many more ways in the future. And we will continue to introduce new use, use cases over the coming, yeah, or a long, long time, many, many years to come. So they are just a couple of the aspects. Yes, you've got massive power. Yes, you've got the data-driven services. Health and safety is a massive thing as well. And I mean, dust control. One of the drill bits that I saw here today is incredible. It has its own dust extraction yeah. right through the middle. We're talking an SDS drill bit. And when I saw it in action, I was just blown away because you can use it overhead in concrete. It will drill the holes, clean them out enough for you to get your chem fix in and put your, you know, your resin anchors in. And I just hate, even with the dust extraction on a drill, drilling out a hole, and then you've got to you know, blow it out. That's the worst case, you know, it's even around yeah. your mask and the rest of it. And I think that was really, really nice innovation. Of course, it's more expensive. Of course, the actual capital cost for it, but you can't put a price on your lungs at the end of the day. Yeah. And the vacuum, tell us a little bit about the vacuum, the backpack. I mean, what you were just talking about in general, right, is our safe set system. And with the safe set system, we have solutions where, and you mentioned it already, you can drill the hole and without doing any on top cleaning, no wire brush, no blowout pump, you're already ready to set a chem fix or many of our other mechanical anchors as well, right? And that just, it saves so much time and also stress on site, right? You don't have to worry about having, mm. is that hole clean? Was it not cleaned? Mm. It's done automatically. And hooked up to the vacuum, you have the M and actually the H class options on the new VC10 battery powered, neuron powered mm. backpack vacuum cleaner mm. that makes you that much more mobile on site. Mm. You're not worried about the cords anymore. Again, mm. it's actually reducing another health and safety risk potentially on site. Mm. It makes it that much easier and that much more mobile. And one other point, which is really important to me as well, is the quality of the fixing that you will get knowing that the hole has been cleaned properly. Yeah. You know, all this blowout, normally it's two blowouts, a brush, another blowout, so that's time. If you actually equate all that and you can satisfy your structural engineer or Absolutely. the building inspector that you could put your hand on your heart and say, we've followed the recommended you know, instructions for these fixings. I just think that's ticking a lot of boxes. Was that intentional? I know Hilti have always been like major players with regards to fastenings 100%. Uh, and all the rest of it. So uh, you know, we kind of expect this innovation from you guys. But I do think that that, seeing it as a package now coming together is just not lovely because it's a whole rounded application to the tool, the safety, and the actual, the better result, if you like. I mean, the, the safe set concept we've had for quite some time now, and we've actually, on the fastening side, we've written it into the approvals, the technical documents that certify a fixing to be used in a certain situation and also how it's installed. So this is a, a certified cleaning method, right? Mm. But now that we bring the vacuum in as well, that's now a game changer. We've completely removed all the cords and made it that much easier once again. 
Yeah, well, I think it's absolutely amazing. And I've been um, really lucky to be invited. I really appreciate you inviting me um, here in Manchester. And I'm going to go now and have a little play with some more of the stuff and, you know, capture some footage and bring it to you. All right, it's mate. great to have you here. Nice Thank one. you so much. Thanks so much. So here is the breaker. I mean, this is the kind of thing you see out on the road. This is a heavy duty breaker. This is what we get out to break up concrete slabs. It's being demonstrated in here on pallets, which I reckon is even harder because they have a little bit of vibration in them, a little bit of bounce, but you want to see this thing in action. One of the big advancements is the fact that we have a dust extraction unit, a backpack dust extraction unit. It's super powerful, it's M class, and it is getting rid of all that unwanted dust. This is that incredible drill bit with the dust extraction that's built in right at the end of the bit. It's an STS bit, it's a smooth shank. It comes with this incredible dust extraction built into it. The best thing about this is guys, you can drill your holes, you don't have to blow them out. You can then deliver exactly the right amount of chem fix with one of these, which is already set up to suit the size of the hole, the fixing, etc, etc, etc. And then there's an M class dust extraction unit on the back, which is Bluetooth as well. Every single thing has been thought about. It works really well. I'm loving this technology, but the drill bit with the holes and the dust extraction is a force to be reckoned with. So this is a cutoff saw. It's also working on the Neuron. It has two batteries on the back. And I think, I mean, look at the fact that that is so light. It's one handed. I'm lifting it up with one hand. Now, I've had a petrol cutoff saw as long as I can remember. And I use it for everything. I use it for doing door openings. I even cut lintels in with it and all the rest of it. And one thing I can't stand is the noise. The second thing is the fumes. The fact that you've got to get them serviced regularly because the fuel mixture is wrong or you lent it to someone and they put the wrong fuel in it and it's an absolute nightmare. So they're the obvious things, okay? This is going to give you less noise. It's also got a blade developed by Hilti, which is actually slightly thinner, which means you're cutting less stock, which obviously means it's going to be a little bit easier on the blade. So I've got someone here to help me to explain a little bit more to me. Tell me about the, the difference between this and a petrol in terms of weight, noise, power. Okay, so in terms of noise, first of all, this is slightly less noise than a, uh, than a standard petrol saw. It depends which country you're in, in terms of how it's measured and so on, but this is without a shadow of a doubt lighter. If we had a petrol saw on here now, that thing, you wouldn't be able to hear it. Okay. Okay, so that's the first thing. What I would just add to your comments about the blade, something that we probably don't talk about enough, is the fact that this is a 12 inch, 300 mil blade. Most petrol saws on the market with a 300 mil blade, a 12 inch petrol saw, will only cut a maximum of about 195 mil. That's right. right? Yeah, with, with a new blade on it. This, however, because of the way we've designed up the flange, this pit here, but there is a smaller one that can go on there, and that allows you with a 300 mil blade to cut 120 mil. So Which, this will do the effect, effectively the equivalent of a 14 inch petrol saw. And what does that mean in building terms? That means to me, when I turn up and the wall is rendered, I can get all the way through the rendered wall to the other side of the brick or the block, or indeed if it's plastered on the inside. So that is an interesting point as well. Absolutely. Dust suppression. Now you've got a battery driven water tank here. Yep. And that is obviously delivering water at a similar rate to a tap wood, is it like a garden hose? What sort of pressure's coming yeah. through it? It's, um, I believe it's about six bar. Right. So you can actually add a hose pipe to the end of it as well if you need to, uh, and that will deliver 15 litres of water, which is why it's called a DWP1522. The 22 means it's a uh, 22 volt battery. That's really good, isn't and that, it? Any of the neuron batteries will power this, just like with any of the other equipment, any battery will go on there. But yeah, 15 litres of water, so you're not standing there doing this, yeah. and those, pe those tanks tend to get broken really easily. Dead simple. One thing I've noticed with all the Neuron stuff is this, it's almost like something from Star Wars, you know, the, 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 the shapes of it and everything else. I think it's really nice. Now, what we'll do then is if, um, when I first looked at this, I read that you could do something like 30 concrete blocks. You could cut 30 
concrete right. blocks. Now that was on the smaller battery. This battery here, which is looks like it's a skyscraper. Can you do that for me? Sure. Yeah, so. so the neuron starts with a slim battery, okay? So obviously that gives you a third of the power of these ones. And then when they were speaking about the 30 blocks, we had a double decker, if you like. This one will give you 30% more. Um, and that's a triple decker, if you like. Now, that, these will add a kilo to the weight of the machine Correct. as opposed to the double deckers. Is that, what, is that yes, right? That's so each, right, yeah. each section's about half a kilo. But to be honest with you, I mean, it's, it's such a light machine anyway, the batteries will not make much difference at all. And with regards to centrifugal, I mean, the balance down the middle looks really nice, doesn't it? It's very, very well balanced. Yeah. yeah. It's very well balanced, yeah. absolutely. There is one other point, if, I do, if you don't mind me just saying, Please is do. that again, I don't think we cover in the actual initial bit, but just a small pointer. If you need your spanner, there it is at the bottom. Nice, yeah, that's really useful. Nicely tucked away, because that's the thing that a lot of people use, so just pop the little bit. I won't do it now, but no. that's where it lives. Okay. So let me ask you another quick question as well. I've seen people hose these, like hose their cutters down, okay? And I always say to the lads, no, you, you just can't fire a hose pipe at it. So will this take a little misting from the right direction? Yeah, it, it'll be fine with that. And then for a couple of reasons, because the way the machine's been designed, it's designed to keep the water out from inside. Um, uh, so we wouldn't obviously advise dropping it into a, a, yeah. a, a water bottle or something like that. Yeah. Um, but the other key thing is these. These have been designed so that they are, they're not waterproof, we can't sell them as waterproof, but these will deal with water, dust, ingress better than any other battery on the market. Yeah, and I've heard that they're much, much better at absorbing shock Correct. based on the fact that the way you've constructed them and all the rest of it. And um, one thing I will say as well, and, and again, I'll have the pleasure of you correcting me, is the fact that how this delivers so much power, if you look at one of Hilti's videos on these batteries where they kind of explode them, you'll see that every, where everything connects in, let's say you've got your positive and your negative, it's a very thick copper coil sort of wire there. And so that enables them to, the analogy I think that was used was, it's like turning on a fire hydrant compared to turning on a garden hose. And that's a really good way of getting across how they can deliver 4,000 watts of power. You can't get that from the grid. I mean, this is the most amazing thing. So where is it going to be in 10 years? I, I, you know, I dread to think. Anyway, let's, let's see it in action. That would be absolutely fantastic. Sure, no problem. So just to repeat the question so everyone hears it, is there a cordless router on the range? And actually maybe Abot, I'll mm -hmm. hand that one over to you if that's and okay. And by cordless router, because people refer to routers uh, for many things, right? I mean, I suppose you mean a wood router. Yes. yes. So our vision is that all trades have all their power tools on the neuron platform, right? We started now from the get-go with 70 products and our vision is that in all trades, also in the woodworking trades, we can cover what you need uh, with Neuron. So I think what we can add to that is, it's now a launch of 70 products. There are already many more in background already prepared to come in the second launch. Yeah, so the question was how many of these tools are completely new and how many are upgrades of existing tools. Is that correct? Yeah. All of the 70 tools are new because, right, all come with the completely new designed interface, right? We have touched every single tool, right? There are some tools that are completely new to the platform. There are some tools that have significant major upgrades, and then some tools that come with additional performance that they can leverage out of the interface. So essentially, all the tools are new. So the question was, how do we come up with the name Neuron? Yes, it's a good question. We obviously get it quite often. As we with Neuron, uh, we're adding uh, this new single platform, right? We obviously had to give it a name to distinguish it from our previous offering. Obviously, you can go many routes. We felt here with what we bring to the table, it's a fully compatible cloud-connected platform, right? That is including 
a lot of smarts, right? You can read out tool data, you can utilize that to make our customers more productive. And we felt that has an analogy to the neuronal network, right? The human body, the human brain, nerve system, right? The brain is controlling the body, like that you can lift an arm, that you can push things, that you can run, that is steered by the brain, by the nerve cells. And we felt neuron, like neurons in your brain, is maybe a good analogy of what we are trying to accomplish here. It's a fully interconnected system that works perfectly together. And uh, right, there's a lot of intelligence built in to make sure it's, we achieve maximum productivity for our customers. That was the, the reason. In that case, it's only up to me to say a huge, huge thank you. Right? And the thank you goes first to all of you for being here. I know there was quite some travel involved. Uh, also from within GB, but especially also from countries uh, outside GB to be here today. So first of all, thank you to you. Thank you. So to that's it. That's my trip to Manchester over. I had an impromptu tour of Hilti's offices and Neuron is brilliant. So give it a look, have a little, if you've got any questions about it, please set them in the comment box below and I'll gladly answer whatever I can.